a whisper became a buzz, then a secret. The secret is out. This is where superstars are born. This is NXT. Welcome all to NXT. Now, in last week's tag match between the Mighty and Undisputed Era, Angelo Dawkins got involved and stayed out on the apron the entire match. The referee has been fined for not calling a disqualification or sending Dawkins to the back. So this week, the Street Profits will take on Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish of the Undisputed Era. At TakeOver No Limits, Johnny Gargano will take on Cedric Alexander for the Cruiserweight Championship. Adam Cole takes on Kyle O'Reilly for the NXT Championship. And due to the tensions rising from the tournaments, Mustafa Ali will take on Noam Dar. That's it for now, let's get the action going. The Undisputed Era is here! Cole, Strong, O'Reilly and Fish, four of the most elite superstars in the entire world. Combined weight of 397 pounds, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh! Beautiful technique. match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It looks to me like he's real. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. You gotta believe this one's over. Jack made. What do they have in mind here? Goodness, this hurts! Oh! 
harsh impact. Oof, kick finds it. Vicious strike. He's on the defensive here. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. Irish whip. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Irish whip. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. Here he goes. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in a two out of three falls format. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Irish whip. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, I don't mess up the neck. Tagged in. Somebody's got hops. What a stomp. Good grief. the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, brutal. Nailed it. Splash in the corner. Wow. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. And the kick out by Fish. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we are seeing. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And the instinct from Fish. The flying fish hook. Now that's what I call making a statement. Bobby Fish may have just ended this one, fellas. Well, look, Bobby Fish is in position. Uh -oh. Boom. <laughs> He's back in control here. Bobby Fish may have just ended this one, fellas. Look at this. He let it go. Curious decision there, Michael. Comes in off the tag. Oh, nasty impact. It's obvious Montez Ford is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing left at this point. And things look bleak right now. Yeah, this is hard to watch now. I mean, he is taking quite a beating in there. Controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Setting it up. Oh, brain buster. That's what he was looking for, Michael. And the odds just swung in Kyle O'Reilly's favor. He's calling for it. Kyle O'Reilly setting it up. Just wearing down the opponent. Just when you thought he had nothing left. What a tag team display. 
Here are your winners, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly, the Undisputed Era. A very decisive victory here tonight. Tag teams beware, these two guys are legit. What an effort we saw here, truly a great match. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Here comes the bruiser weight. And his opponent, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, he done. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One on one, mano a mano. If Pete Dunne is one thing, Ooh. it's tenacious. The Bruiserweight's natural instinct is to always attack his opponent. The assaults that follow are devastating to a superstar's well being. Forget about winning or losing the match. And Pete Dunne's finisher is appropriately named Saxton. When a superstar gets dropped with the bitter end, they are not getting up. Russian leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Drop down. Drop down. Drop down. Here we go, guys. Just run into the ring. He's looking at it. Ooh, the big right hand. The blatant disregard for the referee's authority gets this one thrown out. Now he's going to soak it in. Trash. Message sent. Loud and clear. Very comfortable in this belt. He made his debut in WWE in the Cruiserweight Classic. Uh, made it all the way to the finals. 
Unfortunately for Metal League, came up short to TJP, but this luchador is thrilling to watch. Debuted at 16 and years old. From Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalli. There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Johnny Wrestling is hoping to show his opposition just how he earned that nickname. Oh, Byron, you see, some people named John use Johnny instead. Oh, you meant the wrestling part. Drop down. Oh, what an insecurity right in the ear. What a stomp! Good grief! What a clothesline! Ouch! What a strike! Shoulders are down. An easy kick out there. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Harsh impact. He looks a bit off his game here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Gargano's looking to end it. Is he done? Looks like he has other plans here. I think he was just looking to soften him up a little here. He's got the ropes, and the pin is broken. Addressing the WWE Universe, Johnny Gargano said, quote, I've had some of my best matches in front of 50 people in a VFW hall, so imagine what I'll do in front of thousands. With those humble beginnings, Johnny Gargano used to question if people were going to know who he was every time he entered the ring. But after a five-star battle at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia, he doesn't have to question anymore. You guys romanticize Johnny Gargano's five-star battle like it means something. Having the match of a lifetime earned him zero. Like Zelina Vega pointed out, the true star was Andrade Cien Almas. Johnny Wrestling was once again made into Johnny Loser. Uh, what Johnny Gargano earned that night was the reason he fought in all those BFW Hall. Gargano setting him up. Oh, long dart to the turnbuckle. Can't waste any time here. He's going for the pin. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. Not yet. He's starting to stagger a bit. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment oh. tonight. You don't slip in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Stop pulling oh. leg snap! 
snap. Well, that's going to hurt. Tear your hamstring. He's looking a little off balance. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. In a back and forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants no part of the outside. He could do it here. I thought that was it. Well, that's another example of Johnny Gargano always having his opponent well scouted. Here's the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Yeah, he's not done yet. Gargano's looking to end it. Lights out. DDT connects. I knew it was only a matter of time. I had the chance to tour the WWE Performance Center earlier today, which is not too far from us here in Orlando. It's such an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Grand Menelik slips out of harm's way. Absolutely has to get back in the ring. There's no way around it. Slip leg! Nicely done. Mm -hmm. He might have it. Watch the fly! This might be it, guys. And here's a cover. He kicks out before three. Well, that's another example of Johnny Gargano always having his opponent well scouted. Let's bring Rattling. Grand Metal League's going for it. Looking at it a second time. Attacking the back. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. He saw the heart of a warrior here tonight. This might be it. Oh, my. This is all but over. Look out. He's not messing around. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Look out. Down he goes. And he might not get back up. Superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Enemy hits this. This one's over. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Harsh impact. Time. Watch the fly. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. 
Grand Metal League's going for it. This one's for good big slam. But can he follow up here? This one might just do the trick. What? Oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Might have slipped there, Cole. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Looking for the finish. He's looking shaky. This could be the end. High cross body. Oh boy, he is rolling. Forcefully delivered. Super kick! Beautiful technique. The stump pull uh, leg snap! That's gonna hurt. Tear your hamstring. performance. Here is your winner, Grand Metali. That's an impressive win right there. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Who's at NXT? Where he belongs. Making his way to the ring from Queens, New York, weighing in at 223 pounds, Kurt Hawkins. Looking at it. Death Valley bomb. I'm not sure how much he has left. Kurt Hawkins is in trouble. Oh man, what a light drop. He's starting to stumble here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. Shoulders are down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Still a lot more fight left. What a stop! 
Good grief. Looks like he's starting to tire. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Guys, at the risk of sounding like an amateur psychologist, it seems pretty clear that Double Team Dream absolutely thrives on attention. Nah, don't worry, you just sound like an amateur commentator. statement that Velveteen Dream is an attention seeker. I mean, why else wear all the frilled shirts and jeweled outfits? Hmm, why else? How about because he's a fashion icon? Anyway, the only thing that matters is what you do in the ring. And let me tell you, Velveteen Dream... Uh-oh, here we go! You gotta believe this one's over! That is... He's got him covered. an impressive win right there. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Oh, this is insane. What assault! You're gonna have eyes in the back of your head at all times. Oh, this is a mugging, an ambush from behind. The guy was minding his own business, and thank goodness.